What do you mean, who is this? It's Chris. Why won't you believe me? Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Nemesis, and this is the third and final episode I'm going to record tonight. And uh, and what we're going to talk about is a stunt actress uh, and a stunt performer who is doing uh, double work and stunt work in this film. Her name is Amy Suzuki. I think I'm saying her last name right. I apologize if I'm, I'm mispronouncing that. And Amy is playing a corridor zombie in this, which is great as a stunt performer. She's a, a female figure, I guess, at some point in the movie, just like a, a silhouette of somebody. I, I started thinking of maybe Ada, that scene where Ada is just a silhouette and you don't know if it's really Ada or who it is, but it's Ada pretty much. Um, she's also listed as doing, I think, some double work for Kaya, you know, who's playing Claire Redfield. Uh, she's also listed as a stunt rigger. So Amy's doing a lot of stuff on this movie. But then I also saw that she's a stunt double for someone named Holly DeBarros. Now, I'm not going to show a picture of Holly because Holly is a child. Um, and so I think per the guidelines of, of uh, you know, of YouTube and stuff like that, plus also for privacy, you know, um, I don't want to just plaster this child's face everywhere. Um, but, you know, when she's in character and she's in the movie as a fictional character, uh, then we'll probably have screenshots of, of her as this character. Um, but I'm not gonna show pictures of her um, or from her like personal accounts, like you know Instagram or anything, but um, I, of her at least. But I do have a picture of, that was on Holly's Instagram account. So I will share that to confirm which character she's playing because this doesn't have her in it. It just has an item in it that she's holding, which is this right here. It's a sweater that says uh, Sherry approved. <laughs> so I guess that's like an approved costume that she wears in the film as Sherry Birkin. So Holly, like I said, she's a child and she's playing the daughter of William Birkin and Annette Birkin in this film. So I don't know if Annette is in this film or not. Um, I, I haven't seen anyone cast as her. There is a lady listed as, uh, her name is Stephanie Hawkins and she's listed as Sickly Mom. And Sickly Mom uh, could either be Lisa Trevor's uh, mom, because we know Lisa Trevor is going to be a monster in this, um, or she could be Annette, and maybe they just do something different with Annette where she's infected right off the bat. Um, I don't know. But, uh, but so Holly, though, is going to play, you know, Sherry Birkin, and she's about the age of Sherry. Um, I think she's like 12 or something like that. And, uh, and she's going to, so Amy is her stunt double for a couple scenes, um, which means Sherry Birkin's probably going to get thrown at some point by a G monster maybe uh, we'll see so hopefully this means we'll get a G monster in this um, in this movie and uh, and also you know uh, like I said um, the, so the the image we showed the the sherry approved I think is just an improved costume that you know sh she's gonna wear in the movie and she even used the hashtag like horror film things like that so she's like yeah I can't really talk about what I'm working on but here's the hashtag. And then if you go look in the comments, a bunch of people are already saying, hey, welcome to the Resident Evil family. <laughs> you know, so people are already onto this. You know, they already saw, like, you know, I guess her post or something. Um, but, uh, but yeah, pretty cool. So we have Sherry Birkin now uh, confirmed for this movie, which I assumed would be the case because William Birkin's in it. But I also thought, man, there's so much story going on. Are they going to have time to have that, you know, Claire saving a little girl story? wedged into all this and yeah looks like they will on some level so i'm really curious now like is this the way i like i said the only way this really works is if uh maybe after they edit everything it somehow comes out to be a two to two hour and 15 minute movie because then that gives you enough time I, as someone who's written a ton of screenplays um that i feel like that's enough time to kind of go here's the resident evil one story here's the resident evil two story and then maybe edit them together like I said, to where it seems like it's one movie or one story all happening at once, but then at the end you find out they take place a few months apart. I think one of the Saw movies did that, where it was like, oh, this is all happening at the same time. I think it was Saw 2. And then uh, and then at the end it was like, oh, it's not. Uh, actually, that this is not happening at the same time. Uh, this one event happened like a day or two earlier than, you know, when the cops arrive or whatever. So I was like, oh, that's, that could be kind of clever. That could be a good way to, to weave all this in together and have it all happen. Or, like I said, this could just be the start of the outbreak and it just takes over Raccoon City pretty quickly. And these are all the characters that are there. Maybe Claire is coming to, you know, see her brother, but he gets sent on a mission to the mansion and she's stuck at the RPD with Leon and they have to fight their way out and save Sherry and meet Ada and everything. And Chris has to deal with the stuff out in the woods. And then maybe at the end of the movie, 
they all reconvene or something. So there, I don't know, there's a ton of ways I guess you can make this work, but there's also a ton of ways where this can go horribly, horribly wrong. So we'll stay tuned. Any kind of news or information I get, obviously I'll share with you guys. But this I just thought was pretty cool because now we kind of got a confirmation uh, that uh, Sherry Birkin is officially in this movie and that's great. Uh, that's awesome. So that means they're gonna tell a little bit of that story and show a little bit of that drama and kind of that sadness in a lot of ways. Like Sherry just wants, you know, to be with her mom and dad and 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 them be normal parents that pay attention to her and love her. But uh, she gets more love and affection and, uh, and you know, and worries, uh, for, you know, from Claire. Claire worries for her safety, Sherry's safety. She gets all that more from Claire than she does her own mom sometimes. But that's part of Annette's arc, and that could even be a part of William's arc if they want to go that route in this movie. Um, so I'm curious. You know, I'm, uh, this brings up a lot more questions. Every time they announce a cast member, I'm like, yes, that makes sense that that character is going to be in the movie. But then I go, well, how are they going to fit into the movie now? Um, so again, I wonder how Sherry's going to fit into this, how much of a role she'll have. I'm very curious. But let me know your thoughts down below. As always, we'll continue our conversation down there. And that's all the Resident Evil stuff right now. I think I have an episode or two that I haven't edited yet where I still have my lisp. I'll probably post those up over the next few days. And then on Thursday, obviously, we have the big uh, Resident Evil showcase event where they're going to talk about the new game that's coming out. Uh, they're going to show village uh, footage, gameplay footage and stuff, and um, possibly a new trailer. And then uh, hopefully we'll get some other Resident Evil 25th anniversary goodies and information. Hopefully some merch. That's what I want this year. I'm saving all my side money for a Resident Evil merch. So Capcom, get us some posters, get us some action figures, get us some Funko Pops, whatever you need. Just get more Resident Evil merch out there so I can buy it and talk about it on this show. Uh, so all of you, thank you so much for watching. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I'll see you all in the future. Peace.